All right. Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Swordan here, and you guys asked me to do this a little uh, packing or a vlog for moving and stuff like that. Yes, I know I haven't shaved in a little bit, but I'm sure you guys are pretty used to that. But it is the end of an absolute era in this room. I'm not going to show the. We still have stuff that isn't packed, and you know, a lot of stuff is on the floor. But I wanted to mainly focus on this desk. I just packed up everything and. I just wanted to show you guys what I have been working on for the last almost two years now. So, um, <laughs> it, it'll, sh yeah, it'll shock you, okay? Happy Halloween party table cover, but you guys are probably wondering why I even have that in the first place, but let's take it off and let me just show you how chipped and I can't even get it off. Jeez. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Holy crap. Absolutely chipped up party desk and you know underneath it's pretty pretty dirty but as you can see very let me put this to the side for right now there's my pc very chipped up very dusty as you can see here very chipped up i just thought it was really funny so the fact that i worked on this for the last two years and now i'm gonna officially get a real desk is pretty keep you updated so i'm gonna keep packing everything up um, and I will see you guys very shortly. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, it's been a couple hours later, and I'm not sure if you can even tell, but the room is super, super echoey. That's why I'm kind of not talking too loudly, because if I talk too loud, it's very echoey. Um, but... Whew, this is, uh, this is happening. Let me uh, show you that and everything. You know, it's kind of just on the floor, but everything is gone and everything is bubble wrapped and packed up. So we got the chair that I took apart. We got the PC that is going to be, it is right now double um, bubble wrapped and it's getting a blanket. So I am <laughs> doing a lot. Um, we got my TV here, the OG basically of where I used to stream. And then we got the monitor, the one monitor here. We got both monitors there, just the PlayStation right there in the corner, and then the small box full of DVDs, my posters, and then all of this stuff that you see here is going in my car, and I'm traveling three days across the country. Now, you, you know, I'll already be on the road. I'll probably have this edited and stuff like that, um, and I'll probably upload it when we start our first day, you know, which is in two days. Um, very excited, very, very... <sighs> so empty it's crazy i mean okay so i'm not gonna get too much into like my personal stuff because i don't even know if you guys even care or not or like you know i'm a rock league youtuber i don't think most of you guys want to know that but like i'm just gonna say it anyway because i personally think it's cool for me to have like on youtube and which is something that like it's just unspeakable so let me kind of get into it and the reason why i even want to say this to begin with so I moved to Las Vegas about four years ago from Pennsylvania, you know, 19 years old, still trying to kind of figure out like what I want to do and stuff like that. And that's something that I struggled with. And Las Vegas, it was awesome. You know, I'm cool with Las Vegas. I, mean, I don't have any beef with it. It's like I said, it's something that I always will remember because, and again, you know, I'm just a rock league YouTuber, but something that I've always, I think I've realized after I'm leaving now is that I did really kind of like find out what I wanted to be and what I really love to do, which is very interesting because I've always loved video games. And you guys know I've started my channel about <laughs> a long time ago, like 2009 or something, but I was never consistent with it until 2020 during kind of not so much that area, but like, you know, I started it because I wanted to do something YouTube wise. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to really do this. So not only in Las Vegas did I find out that I was really enjoying YouTube a lot more and I was posting every day and I still keep with the daily schedule. Fortunately, of course, not right now, but I've always kept with the daily schedule ever since 2020, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but I also, you know, just figured out that I love to explore. Many of you guys may not know this, but I absolutely love natural national parks. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. I just got back. If you guys haven't watched that video, I'm moving to New York. I literally just got back from state of Oregon, which was a 14 hour drive. So I went to three national parks and like four state parks. And it was just honestly amazing. So 
One thing about Vegas that I absolutely loved is the fact that I really did find out who I wanted to not become, but like what I really liked. I've always loved the nature and like urban exploring and stuff like that. And I did that out in Pennsylvania, but I never did it to the extent of I did here. So I had natural uh, national parks and then also YouTube is like something that completely like took over. Like I absolutely loved it. I loved live streaming and I'm still trying to live stream guys. Don't worry. I really am trying to get there. Um, I also need a tripod. My tripod broke. So I'm hand holding this camera right now. Um, but you know, it's just like, I really did find out what I really loved out here, which was YouTube and national parks and the graphic design's always been there, but it's always those two hobbies that I just personally enjoyed. And YouTube is, you know, one of my favorite things I miss uploading. Like the Nissan Z just came out or something, or like the update and it's coming out tomorrow. I mean, I'm sure it's already out when I post this, but like I wanted, I wanted to record that so badly, but I couldn't. I mean, I didn't have any equipment or anything. I mean, you guys, there's the symbol, my PC's there. You know, I got my TV. I mean, I didn't use my TV, but like all my parts are like over there. It's just, it's definitely a little different. I've never had to do this because when I would move, when I've moved multiple times, I moved like four or five times in my life. I've never had to worry or not worry, but I've never like packed like everything up and then like be like, oh, I got to get back right away so I can start up with Cause that's what I'm going to do. As soon as I get out to New York, I'm going to unpack this all and then, you know, redo it all and, you know, stuff like that. And we're just going to get it up as quick as possible. And before it was for fun, but now, you know, I really miss it a lot. And I just really miss playing Rocket League too. <laughs> I thought I would never say that, but I really do miss playing Rocket League a lot. Um, But yeah, I mean, that's one thing that I really, really loved about Vegas is just the fact that I actually found out who I wanted to be in like, what I wanted to like do and like hobbies and stuff like that. I know that sounds really weird. Again, I'm a Rocket League YouTuber. I'm not, I don't think you guys even care to be honest with you, but it's just, it's something that I noticed as I was leaving. I was like, wow, I really did find out like who I want to say, I want to say in this the less in the most least like weird way, but like I found out who I was, you know, like I really did. I found out I love nature. I love urban exploring still. And uh, I just wish I'm going to be able to go back out there at the East coast. But um, I found out that I absolutely loved YouTube to an ex like not to an extent to an unbelievable amount because I miss recording so much and that's why I'm so excited you guys wanted these vlogs because I have someone to like you know share this experience with and you guys tell me things and it's like you know we comment and just talk to each other which is honestly the greatest thing I'm still trying to be able to live stream just okay I'm trying I'm sorry but um it's still really cool to be able to do this this is the first time I'm really vlogging like you know like officially now it's gonna be a couple days or something um but yeah I mean I'm gonna be vlogging like not every day because it's just a three-day drive nothing too crazy but <sighs> it's pretty cool it's really cool but I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it a lot I'm not done this video is not like the episode isn't over I think I'm gonna record a couple more stuff but when we officially leave is when I will start editing this video and it will go live and I'll keep you guys updated because I told you guys I would never keep you in the dark and I fail not to do that because you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys, we talk to each other over comments and hopefully we'll be able to talk to each other through live streaming and stuff like that. Hopefully soon. Really, really hoping in New York I'll be having time to live stream and stuff like that because I miss talking Rocket League and I just miss talking life with you guys. So, you know, the video is not over. I think I'm going to do a couple more things and uh, probably going to go down to the Las Vegas Strip tonight. Maybe I'll record a little bit of that as like a last time thing because I don't have any videos on YouTube on that. But uh, maybe I'll head down there and then the morning we leave, whew, that's going to be it's gonna be something else. So yeah, I'll see you guys very shortly. Where it all started. Right here. Completely empty. Desk went right here where this dust is. Just kidding, that's not dust. I don't know what that is. We vacuumed, okay? But all where it started. Absolutely insane. Man, my room was small. Look at my room. My room was kind of small, okay? Tomorrow, my family leaves today. And this is the last time I'll be in the house. Um, I think it's May 26th. I think it, I think it is. Let me, let me just, hold on. Okay, May 26th, 2022. Last time setting foot in the Las Vegas house. Whew. Absolutely insane.
started it all here. Absolutely started it all. But like I said, we don't leave till tomorrow. Also, it's like 6 a.m. right now. I'm so tired. But uh, um, yeah, we don't leave till tomorrow. So another, another recording before then. One last final drive by Vegas. Okay guys, it's the 26th. Um, I filmed the video of us leaving the house, but um, my family has officially left. I, again, I leave tomorrow. So I thought, why not come to the first spot that I ever went to in here in Vegas, which was right on this drive. So for the next like minute or two, I'm probably gonna talk about like this first area, but if you don't like wanna listen or anything, that's perfectly fine. You can skip this, I'll put a time marker because I'll be in the car for three days at this point, so I'm sure I'll be able to actually put a time marker this time. Um, but this is one of the most beautiful views, in my opinion, of the Vegas skyline. This is the first place that I came to the first night I moved here, actually, and uh, I came here at night and looked at the skyline that night. And then right behind me right here is the first mountain, <laughs> the so-called mountain that I ever climbed. Um, like I was saying yesterday, it was a lot of like, you know, finding out what I loved and this was a huge part of it. I climbed this mountain almost every single night for the first like three months of living here and <laughs> there's a tr <laughs> there's a trail there's a trail right there I don't know if you guys can see it. it's like you know if you're good at spotting trails you'll be able to see that I <laughs> I didn't see it so I climbed the mountain freely I just went up the mountain and <laughs> I didn't see the trail until like a good year after but again it was all trial and error and that's something that Vegas, like, you know, helped me with. Or not Vegas per se, but, you know, exploring out here has just definitely helped me, you know, find trails and just, like, you know, become who I, you know, like I said, I love the hobbies that I do. YouTube and exploring nature and stuff like that. That's, like, the two things that I really discovered. And then, obviously, graphic design, which I've always done, so that one's not really too much on the list. I've always known I've wanted to do that. Um, but, you know, it's just pretty cool it's 8 27 and i leave tomorrow morning oh jeez crazy stuff oh i almost dropped i need a tripod i might go to best buy today <laughs> get a tripod at this point because you guys want vlogs in new york i'm gonna be vlogging holy crap i'm so excited oh man new york city huh never been never ever been it's gonna be fun you know but uh Again, this is going to be another couple minutes of just kind of... I was thinking about this last night. I was thinking about going for a drive. It was like 12.30. I was like, I should go for a drive because what I like to do is go for drives. I won't be able to have that in New York City. I'll have the subway. <laughs> um, but either way, you know, it's like... I'm definitely nervous, you know. It's by myself this time, obviously with my girlfriend, but definitely by myself away from family for the first time. And, you know, it's like nerve-wracking and I think I felt the nerves last night as I packed everything up and brought it to my girlfriend's house and I like looked at my room and I went huh this is happening <laughs> holy crap but I mean you know I'm not sure if many people are going to be like actually watching this but like I think one thing that I've come to realize is the fact that I think the, the beeping was in the background the entire time. No! Oh my god, I'm not going to redo this. I'm sorry. Um, I think if you are, you know, definitely nervous, it means you're doing something right. I heard that quote somewhere, okay? I'm not trying to get deep here. But I heard that quote somewhere that if you're, if you're nervous for something, you're doing something right because, you know... If you're not nervous, then, you know, you're clearly in your comfort zone, and this is way out of my comfort zone. I love exploring, but it's always nice to come back to, like, you know, family or something, and New York City, well, it's a far distance, and I've never actually been to New York City, so, granted, I've never been to Vegas or, you know, Miami or any of those other places, but I have family, you know, so it's a little different this time, but gotta head out, you know, you gotta, gotta leave the house sometime. Whew. I'm excited to set up my room how I want it. Um, 
well, hold on, wait, wait. Girlfriend's approval of how I want to set up my office area. I mean, not my office area, my room. So that will probably be a little cleaner, but the office area is where I get my say. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if you're uh, doing something wrong, I mean, if you're not doing, I don't really know. <laughs> Again, we don't leave till tomorrow morning, and I definitely think I'm gonna be. I'm definitely, you know, a little emotional right now. Um, not that, not the crying emotional, but um, I forgot to take my allergy pill again for the third day in a row. So like, my eyes are super itchy. I'm sneezing left and right. So this is like the one time I had to sit in the car for a little bit to get the like the pollen out because I sneezed like 20 times. I'm so happy to get out of that. <laughs> No more allergy pill, I guess you could say. I don't really know. It's just, it's crazy. This is such a beautiful view, and I don't even know if we're going to have time to be able to drive the strip tonight, so I really wanted to go to the first place that I went. See, you can you can hear them. You know, I'm stuffy, I'm running. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Um, YouTube, like, YouTube is just, Changed my life for the better. I mean, you know, not that we have billions of followers. It's not even about that. It's just about being able to show my love for Rocket League in a, you know, a video format. You guys comment and you guys have just been honestly so amazing. I mean, wow. <laughs> but uh, you guys have honestly been so amazing. Just YouTube has changed my life. I mean, I found the two things that I love. It's exploring and recording. I mean... Recording is something I love. I talk too much, and I was always told I talk too much. So it's nice to be able to, <laughs> it's nice to be able to kind of talk it out in a video format. And hopefully, some people are listening and stuff. It's just, it's crazy this is happening, you know. And this is the first move where I've had to actually, you know, do YouTube. So it's pretty cool to be able to vlog in, just not have pictures. I don't think I even have pictures from anymore from all my previous moves. So pretty cool that this will be forever on YouTube. So. Tomorrow, I think today, I'm going to head to Best Buy, get a little tripod, you know, because uh, this, isn't, this isn't working. I don't know if I want to do this in New York City, you know. I want to have a tripod. Um, I'm going to be heading out, probably going to Best Buy, getting the car packed with the PC stuff, the TV. Oh, my God, I'm so nervous for that. I'm so nervous for that. I don't want anything to break. I, I'm going to take it 10 miles per hour. 10 miles per hour, 100%. But... Long last first skyline I ever saw next to the Philly skyline, but now I'm going to be seeing the New York skyline, which is absolutely insane. And that here, let me zoom in a little bit. So there is the Vegas skyline. And then the first mountain I ever climbed right here. Mountain. I always say mountain, but the first mountain was Black Mountain all the way on the other side of this, like 6,000 feet. Pretty crazy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. First time my girlfriend Monica is on the channel. This is our last day in Las Vegas. We just had to make a quick stop at Starbucks. Not sponsored. <laughs> but this is it. Um, we got the entire back seat. And all of the PC and stuff. Is in the trunk. So uh, we're gonna hope we have three day drive. We have a 17 hour, uh, okay, it's fine. Baby water, baby water bottles. We have a 17 hour drive to our first destination, which is Oklahoma. Blackwell, Oklahoma. Blackwell, Oklahoma. Shout out to Blackwell, Oklahoma for having a room available. <laughs> if anybody's from Blackwell, Oklahoma, I guess, you know, we're coming to a city near you. Um, so this is it. Last time in Las Vegas, just had to make a quick stop at Starbucks, and uh, I'll see you guys in, I guess, episode two of the vlog, New York City. Here we come. Yay. Long drive. Long drive ahead of us, but we're excited. Going to take you on apartment hunting and everything like that, so don't worry. This is just the beginning of the vlogs, because you guys wanted it. So, here we go. I'll see you guys in the next episode.